Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12 series. Continuing with the class 12th lecture series for solving MCQs and sums, today we'll be covering textbook unsolved sums of chapter 12, Electromagnetic Induction. We have already covered the MCQs of this chapter. If you have not checked it, please check it out by clicking on the top right eye icon. So let us start with the first sum for this video. A horizontal wire 20 meter long extending from east to west is falling with a velocity of 10 meter per second normal to the earth's magnetic field of 0.5 into 10 raise to minus 4 tesla. What is the value of induced EMF in the wire? Induced EMF ka formula yaan pe rahega B L V sin theta. Theta is the angle between magnetic field and velocity. And ये लोग ने यहाँ पे बोला है कि velocity और earth का magnetic field दोनों के बीच में angle 90 degree. Normal means angle is 90 degree. They are perpendicular. So sine 90 we know it is equal to one. Therefore equation will be B L V. Remember this formula. एक दो सम और है. ये chapter में जो हम same formula से solve करने वाले. So B is 0.5 into 10 raise to minus 4 length given is 20 meter velocity is 10. B is 0.5 मतलब 1 by 2 ही होता है. This will give us 10. So we will have 10 raise to minus 4 and 10 raise to 2 will give us 10 raise to minus 2. So this is 10 into 10 raise to minus 3 which is 10 milli volt. Hope you understood this. Let us check out the next MCQ. A metal disc is made to spin at 20 revolution per second. So F over here is 20 revolution per second about an axis passing through its center. So if I consider a disc like this, there is an axis which is passing through its center and ye iske along rotate kar raha, which is normal to its plane. The disc has a radius of 30 centimeter. So if I draw a radius from the center, this will be 30 centimeter. And it is spinning in a uniform magnetic field of 0.2 Tesla, which is parallel to the axis of rotation. So with this axis of rotation, there is this magnetic field as well, which is parallel to this. And this magnetic field ka value is 0.2 Tesla. Calculate the area swept out per second by the radius of the disc. Now with reference to this radius that we have drawn over here, अगर एक रिवॉल्यूशन कंप्लीट होगा तो ये रेडियस ने पूरा एरिया स्वीप कर लिया है राइट सो एक रिवॉल्यूशन करेगा तो एरिया ऑफ द डिस्क इज स्वेप्ड द कंप्लीट एरिया ऑफ द डिस्क इज स्वेप्ड बाय इट नाउ दे आर आस्किंग एरिया स्वेप पर सेकंड सो वी नो दैट पर सेकंड डिस्क इज गोइंग अराउंड 20 टाइम्स सो the total area that it will sweep is equal to area swept in one revolution multiplied by number of revolutions which is 20. Fine, so this is 20 into area of the disk will be given by pi r square. So we got 20 into pi which is 3.142. Radius we are given as 30 centimeter or we can take it as 0.3 meter. So here it will 0.3 ka square. This will be 20 into 3.142 into 0 0.3 ka square will be 0 0.09. Now if we multiply this, we will have 1.8 into 3.142. This will give us the value as 5.656 meter square approximately. <laughs> So this was the first point. Second, they have asked what is the flux cut per second. Now flux is given by B into the area swept, total area. B is given as 0.2 and area swept we got as 5.656. This will give us the value as approximately 1.31 Weber. And lastly, they have asked what is the induced EMF. Induced EMF is given by the formula is d5 by dt or you can write it by flux upon time. So flux we got as 1.31 and the time taken for this flux was 1 second. So the EMF induced is 1.31 volt. Hope you all understood this. Let us check out the next MCQ. A pair of adjacent coils has mutual inductance of 1.5 Henry 
If the current in one coil changes from 0 to 10 ampere in 0.2 second, what is the change in flux linkage with the coil? Now change in flux linkage means we need to find what is d5 by dt. This is nothing but equal to induced EMF when taken magnitude only. And induced EMF is also given by the formula E is equal to m di by dt when we take the magnitude. This is equal to 1.5 into di is change in current. So final current is 10, initial current was 0 and the time taken was 0.2. So this will give us 15 into 10 upon 2. So 2 phyza is 10 and we got 75 Weber per second as the answer. Hope you all understood this. Let us check out the next MCQ. A long solenoid consisting of 1.5 into 10 raised to 3 turns per meter has a cross section area of 25 centimeter square. Another coil C consisting of 150 turns is wound tightly around the center of the solenoid. Calculate for a current of 3 ampere in the solenoid maximum flux density at the center of the solenoid. Now maximum flux density at the center of the solenoid is given by the formula mu0 ni where mu0 is permeability of free space and value is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. Small n is number of turns per meter for the solenoid which is 1.5 into 10 raised to 3 and the current which is flowing is 3 ampere. So 4 3s are 12 1.5 is 18 into pi which is 3.142 into 10 raised to minus 4. When we multiply this we will get 56.556 into 10 raised to minus 4 or we can write this as 5.66 into 10 raised to minus 3 tesla. Next they have asked flux linkage in the coil. Flux linkage is given by the formula magnetic field into the area of the coil. But over here we don't have single turn we have 150 turns so we will multiply this by the number of turns. Always remember this flux is equal to BA is only for one turn of the coil. Over here if you have more number of turns multiply by n. So over here we will have 150 into magnetic field we got as 5.66 into 10 raised to minus 3 into area is 25 centimeter square. We can write it as 25 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square. After solving this we will get the answer as 2.12 into 10 raised to minus 3 Weber. Lastly, they have asked average EMF E average induced in the coil C if the current in the solenoid is reversed in direction in a time of 0.5 second. So we will find E average by finding the change in flux per unit time. Now please try and understand for a solenoid which is having lot many number of turns over here. If we reverse the direction of the current then the direction of magnetic field or flux which is from this end let us say it will also change to the the direction of this will also change and we will have magnetic flux of the same magnitude from the other side so we will have final flux minus initial flux divided by the change in time final flux as again 2.12 into 10 raised to minus 3 but it will be opposite in direction so we'll have minus sign minus initially 2.12 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by the time taken was 0.5 second. So this will give us minus minus common like a plus. So we will have 2 into 2.12 which is 4.24 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2. So finally we'll have 8.48 into 10 raised to minus 3 volts. Hope you all understood this. Let us check out the next MCQ. A surge coil having 2000 turns with area 1.5 cm square is placed in a magnetic field of 0.6 tesla. The coil is moved rapidly out of the field in a time of 0.2 second. Calculate the induced EMF across the surge coil. So induced EMF is given by the formula minus of d5 by dt if you have a single coil. But the coil is having 2000 turns over here. So we'll multiply it by the number of turns. Now phi can be written as B into A. B is constant so we can take B outside. And we got change in area upon change in time. So let us put all the values. N ka value is 2000. B is 0 
change in time is 0.2 and then we have to find out the change in area so this change in area is final area minus initial area now we know that coil is moved out of the field so the area which is left inside the field will be 0 so the final area is 0 and initially the area which was inside the field was 1.5 centimeter square if we write it in meters it will be 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 so let us solve this minus minus will go out this will be 2 3s are 6 and we got this as 6000 into 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 so we got 9 into 10 raised to minus 1 which is 0 0.9 volts hope you all understood this let us check out the next mcq an aircraft of wingspan 50 meter flies horizontally in the earth's magnetic field of 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 tesla at a speed of 400 meter per second calculate the emf generated between the tips of the wings of the aircraft over here the plane is flying horizontally and the earth's magnetic field is vertical from south to north pole so again the angle between velocity and the magnetic field is 90 degree and and as discussed in the first sum we will be using the formula e is equal to blv over here b is given as 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 l over here is the wingspan which is 50 meter into velocity is 400 so we got 5 4 is at 20 20,000 into 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 so this will be 6 2s are 2 L or I would say 1.2 volts hope you all understood this thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates as you know based on your feedback and suggestions we will be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 12 so please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.